Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. And the chat room is kind of like a virtual cafe. You can sit and chat, chat about anything you want, support each other. It's just there for everybody to get together and chat. So I decided to start Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health so that there was a virtual place, a safe place where everyone could chat in the comment section that's live and just not feel alone. So with that said, let's move on. I've done my skincare and uh, I've been waiting for a while. This side of my face, my skin keeps going really red and hot. So I've waited for it to go down a bit before starting filming. Um, I use this as part of my skin routine now. This is the uh, Madage Beauty Lip Envy Lip Balm in Strawberry. I don't look at it as just a lip balm, it is part of my skin routine and I love it. So I've really wanted to retry this primer and see how I feel about it, see if I feel any different. Um, but let's have, see. See, it really does have a glow just in, when you look at it, you can really see. Um, but wow, so it looks really pink when you first put it on. This is only my second time using it. It smells amazing though. It smells like coconut, really summery. And I'm a sucker for nice smelling products. But as you can see, it turns your face into kind of a disco ball. But the foundation I'm going in with today is full coverage, like full, full coverage. So uh, hopefully <laughs> this won't show through. Um, I'm still making my mind up on this. But yeah. Oh. So the foundation I'm going in with is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade 3 Cool. I love this and it is full coverage, so uh, perfect for today. Um, also, on the new medication that I'm on, which has been added on top of all the others, um, I'm more away with the fairies and I'm struggling sometimes with uh... and a lot of the time I'm struggling to remember things or if I read it I forget before I go to say it so there may be a lot of uh... <laughs> a lot of that in this video if there is I'm so sorry but I wanted to film it and get it ready and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be like this every day for for the now anyway. So let's crack on and so it's just one pump there. And you can see it's uh, see how far it goes. I really really love this foundation to the point I've got it in my summer shade as well. So yeah, it's, I love it that much and I think this is going to be amazing for when uh, my skin gets all kind of sweaty in the summer because this kind of stays in place. It's a really, really good foundation. I love it. So how has your week been? Have you been up to anything exciting? Um, you got anything nice planned for over this weekend? So it's looking like um, the rules are changing a bit for um, obviously the COVID situation, um, but provided they are, I'm keeping everything crossed, my mum will be able to come over and see me uh, in three weeks. So fingers crossed, because that would be so good. I know my daughter would be over the moon to see her. And the dog and the cat, everybody loves her. Right. Look, can you see how full coverage this is? It is so good. So, so good. Um, 
along with my Huda Beauty, the original, uh, the original, I can't speak, along with the Huda Beauty, the original one, not this new luminous one. I'm still trying to make up my mind what I think about that. But yeah, the original one and also the KVD Locket foundation. So for general spot concealing, there's not really much to conceal because that foundation is amazing. Um, but I am taking my Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer in 4N Neutral. I really like this. I'm quite annoyed that I really like it because it's so expensive. Yeah, it's just such an amazing concealer. Why? Why does it have to be expensive ones that I love? I think when it comes to concealers, the more high-end brands do tend to get it better, sadly. But... Having said that, I have, well, it's the next one I'm going to use for under my eyes, actually, um, from an indie brand. It's actually the uh, concealer from Madage Beauty. And to me, it's just the same as any of the high-end ones. So I love my Too Faced, Born This Way, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, I think it is. I love that. There we go. And then for under my eyes, I've got the Madage Beauty London, the Skin Perfect, the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. This is the perfect under eye concealer. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I don't really have like a massive amount of things to, to talk about this week. I've been watching a lot of American Idol. I love American Idol. And uh, I get quite into that. So I've been watching that a lot. We've watched some Criminal Minds. Watched a couple of really good films. Oh, we watched um, Zodiac the other night. Um, it was on Netflix. And uh, it's got a great, like cast lineup the actors in it are just the bomb and if i could remember their names <laughs> my brain isn't mush but yeah it was an amazing film i'm surprised i remembered the name of the film because uh usually i don't <laughs> but yeah zodiac it is a brilliant film and what's the other one we we watched a film that was amazing until it got to the end and then it was like really oh you know there's so many like ways that could have gone and their ending was just meh so yeah that felt like a bit of a, a waste of time so for cream contour i've got the kiko milano sculpting touch creamy stick contour in the shade 200 i really love this one and there is what she looks like So I have something very exciting coming up. Um, on the 16th of July, my channel, Not Your Basic Steph, turns one year old. And I am so excited. I will be doing a giveaway. But I will, uh, I will let you all know the details closer to the time. I am so, so excited. I can't believe... It's been nearly a whole year that I've been doing this and I have loved every second of it so much and I'm just in awe at the amazing people I have met. I have made some of just the best friends ever and and it's so nice to be able to pay that forward also. Um, I've been helping my uh, friend Erica set up her channel and oh, she is amazing. So if you don't know who Erica is, um, I will link her channel in the description box below. Please, please, please 
go check her out give her all the love she deserves it she's amazing I really feel like I found a sister. We're just, we're so similar in a lot of ways and just, oh, I love her to bits. So yes, the giveaway um, will be like probably mostly UK indie products. But I'm so, so excited to be able to do my first giveaway. I, I can't wait it's just going to be so nice being able to kind of give back a bit because you all give me so much um like in support and love and I'm just so excited to be able to give some of that back to you guys so I don't know whether it will be just a one thing or it depends how many items I have as to whether or not there'll be one or two winners but oh, I'm just so excited. So I never thought I would end up with over 200 subscribers and getting PR. It's just been the most amazing whirlwind of fun. I just, I can't express how grateful I am to everybody for just kind of giving me the support to do what I love. And where times have been so difficult, this has really kept me going, given me the motivation to do something, something that I can do, because obviously I can't do much due to being in so much pain all the time. But this is one thing I can do, and you guys make it possible for me to do it. I love you all. I love you all so much. So for cream blush, I am going in with the Made by Mitchell blush in Posy Rosy. I really love the formula of these blushes. Obviously the Mango Daiquiri is my favourite one. Mango, yeah, Mango Daiquiri. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. So that one's my favourite, but that's purely because of the colour and not And not the uh, formula because the formula is just consistent in them both so I would imagine <laughs> yeah the formula is absolutely amazing I always end up putting on too much of this but because it just blends in so nicely to the skin I put way too much of that on. <laughs> oh well. We can go over it with the foundation brush a bit. I always get so carried away. <laughs> let's just... Let's just blend it in a bit. Oh, that's perfect. So for powder, I have a new one to try out of my box of shame. And this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. Picked up an absolute ton. Oh, wow. This is so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what the hype is about. This is so smooth. It's got a really nice scent to it as well. It's really finely milled, really. Oh, my skin feels amazing. So very first impressions, I'm impressed, super super impressed feels just amazing see my skin actually feels softer with this powder than it does with my Laura Mercier so could we have found a new favorite powder I think 
I think we may well have done. This is beautiful and it smells lovely too. So I do have a new brow product to try and it is the Revolution Brow Sculpt Kit in Dark Brown. And this is what you get. So there's the pomade, the powder and a highlighter. And you get a tiny pair of tweezers, a little brush and a little spoolie. So I'm going in first with the pomade there. So let's see. So I'm attempting to do it with the brush that comes with it. I'm trying to make sure you guys can still see what I'm doing um, whilst I can see what I'm doing with my mirror. Not easy. So, so far this is uh, pretty easy to use. It was my first time trying one of these little sets for brows. I've never, never tried any. I think with this brush, it's uh, you wouldn't be able to get like a hair strokes, but I don't mind because uh, yeah, this is this is looking pretty good. Uh, a bit more. So do you guys have any favourite brow products? Because I am always looking to try different brow products. Obviously I have next to no hair as you can see. I have virtually non-existent brows so the uh, the products need to Kind of be able to create brows. Oh, that is looking really nice. So at some point I will get microbladed eyebrows, but for now, for now we are stuck with creating our own. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this so far. I'm not the biggest fan of this tiny little brush, but I figured, seeing as we were testing out the product, we might as well use, well, we might as well test out what came in with it. I also don't know how I'm going to get on with the tiniest tweezers in the world. <laughs> but we shall see. That's one I'll have to let you know on, <laughs> if I remember, that is. So yeah, first impressions. This is going on so easily. Okay, pretty happy with the pomade. So just going in with the powder on the other end of the brush just to kind of I'm guessing fill in loose bits I don't know yeah this is uh, not something that I do but I'm intrigued to see what it looks like I think the only time I've put like powder to my eyebrows 
is when I do them like different colours like green or blue to for a monochromatic look but yeah, it's bizarre doing it on just normal brow day I do have to say though this is not as difficult as I thought it was going to be hmm not bad so yeah I'm definitely going to need to play with that more um but yeah so far so far so good they don't look bad at all so the eye primer I'm going in with is the P Louise Base Pro in Rumour 02 I love this so I've just picked up a couple more of the coloured bases from P Louise and I'm so excited to try all these out so excited yeah this one I find is a really just a really nice base for eyeshadows they seem to a look so the colors pop I love that it covers I love that it covers all of the uh, kind of redness and veins that you can see and kind of gives you a blank canvas so I love the uh, coloured bases for doing kind of cut creasy looks. But I need to do more of them on camera really because uh, I don't really do many. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be going in with today is the Kimchi Chic You Make Me Happy. And there is the uh, outer packaging. The only thing I don't like about the, uh, the packaging is that it's plastic. I much prefer the uh, cardboard ones, but it's neither here nor there right now. So this here is the colour story. Absolutely beautiful. And right, let's get a brush. So the first colour I am heading in with is called, sorry, I haven't got my glasses on and it's tiny writing. I think it's Caliente, the, uh, this pink. So this is my first time trying kimchi chic. So yeah, I'm really excited. So this one is going in the crease. Okay. That's not quite as uh, bam as I was expecting actually. See, I do absolutely love this colour. This is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to kind of bring it out. Yeah, just bringing it out there. So I had no idea what I was going to do um, colour-wise until I picked it up to show you. And it just sort of came to me. <laughs> and then the shape, I've just decided right now. So this is the joy of makeup. You uh, you can really express yourself like artistically, and if you don't like it, you can wash it off. But it's so I just find it like a a comfort to everything, something that makes me really happy. And uh, <laughs> the reason I chose this palette out of all of the palettes I've got in my box of shame is because it's called You Make Me Happy, and I thought that was perfect for Karma Chameleon that is looking really nice I am so I'm so in love with that colour you'll see what I'm doing maybe this colour is beautiful There is actually no kick up in the pan at all. Okay. That's uh, fine by me. So yeah, I guess that's just another plus point. It doesn't smell of anything.
So yeah, my box of shame seems to uh, just be getting bigger and bigger. I think uh, I'm going to have to at some point make a video of it um, just to hold myself accountable and make me like use stuff because it's so easy just to like grab the the newest products to to show and there were so many products in there that I can't unless I look I can't even remember what I've got which is quite sad obviously I remember a couple of the products in there because I've got the uh, Stacey Marie Carnival 3 Love Tahiti um, I haven't tried it yet I really really need to but it's one of those I just keep saying I will um, but I think what I've been waiting for mostly is the time to do a, a multiple looks video because there's just so many options in that palette that I kind of think you need to do a few looks to uh, kind of do the palette justice. So at the moment where there's a lot of time, like some days I can't do anything, I can't, I can't film. Um, because I, I'm either in too much pain or too spaced out to be able to to do anything. So uh, I don't know. But yeah, I think I am going to uh, to do a video showing you all exactly what is in my box of shame. And then obviously, if uh, you guys see anything that you really want to see. A video on then you can just let me know and then I am going to head into what's it called right so the next color I'm going in with is slayage which is this one here and I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of this pink which I already can't remember what it's called For the outer V and lower crease, I am going to go in with My World, which is this blue one. So, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, just do one of the cut creases. Okay, so I'm now going in with the P. Louise Basic Cosmetic Base. And this is in the shade, so this is in the shade Purple Passion. So I'm just going to pop a bit, I've got just a bit of uh, glass here I use for these kinds of things. So I'm just going to pop a bit on there. And then just using a flat brush, this one's from Miali Beauty. It's my mirror so just taking a bit on that and uh, initially I am just stamping out the line where I want it Okay, so I wasn't happy with how all that was looking, so I threw my toys out the pram and did this. So <laughs> next up, so next up, I'm going in with the P. Louise White Base. Is the Rumor Zero, Mr. Fluff? You can't do that, Mr. Fluff. You can't get there, Mr. Fluff. If you hear lots of commotion, I have the cat and the dog in here, Mr. Fluff. You can't go up there. Just with a little fine liner brush, 
I am going to so I'll probably speed this up because uh, this has been taking me ages I was gone an hour for you a couple of seconds but for me it was an hour And I've just got a tiny brush, which is usually my lip brush. I'm going to take off some of this. So whilst it's still tacky, I'm going to go in with Sparkle Star up here and just using a tiny little brush, I'm going to kind of stamp it, stamp it over the line there of, uh, oh crikey, it's quite crumbly, so be warned. I did not <laughs> intend for for this look to take so long. I really thought it was going to be a lot easier. Just look at that though. This is beautiful. Pretty sure this has a slight green shift in it. It does. Oh, okay. So this is one of the special shades then. Yeah, this one's definitely a special shade. Just you've got to take just a bit at a time and work slowly with it where it's so crumbly if you take too much you get it all over your face like like I did yeah work slowly with it right and now that is on I'm just going to use the same brush to uh just kind of clean it up a bit so just going back in with the purple base so i just want to uh just clean up that line
Right, so now that's done, I am first going to go in with True Queen Shimmer. Yeah, definitely not as impressed with the uh, this purple one. Hmm. So, so far I've loved the mattes and I've loved this uh, really special shimmer. Yeah, this one's not really giving me what I want. Like at all. This is definitely more of a satin than a shimmer. All right, and now I'm going to go in with Princess Me, the pink shimmer. Yeah, these ones seem a bit hard pressed. Hmm. Am I actually getting anything? It's like it's getting hard pan just from me trying to use the brush in it. I'm not even sure anything's coming up. Oh, we've got something. We definitely don't pick up so well on a brush, but looking at how it's going hard pan so easily, I wouldn't want to use my fingers either. So now I've got it on, it's very pretty. But yeah. If any of you have this palette and uh, know how to make these shimmers easier to work with, do please let me know because uh, yeah, they're not the easiest to work with. This one's actually quite nice now that it's on. I'm just going to blend that kind of into the purple. I'll go back in with the purple in a moment. But I'm quite happy to uh, kind of overtake a bit with this pink because it is much nicer than that purple. I feel really bad saying all this. But yeah. It's not, definitely not a favourite. So just going back in with the brush with the purple on, just dabbing gently over that line just to blend them into each other. Perfect. All right, for the lower lash line, am I going to use you? No, let's use you. For my lower lash line, I am going to... Going with the uh, True Queen again, the uh, purple, I, I want to say satin. Just to connect the upper and lower lids. So I'm just going to dip into Slayage, this one here, just on a little fluffy brush, just to blend out these edges. Right, I'm going to go in with the Sparkle Star, that kind of flaky one I just want to see oh actually yes look at that okay it does work as a brow bone highlight I really didn't think it would I'm just taking it 
under the inner part of my lower lash line there so everything was taking too long so I thought I'd quickly finish my eyes and then come back the black eyeliner I used is the Altitude Cosmetics Cake It Liner in Adore I really am loving water activated liners at the moment in my water line is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Piggy Bank. The mascara is the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara, as always. Um, the eyelashes I have on are from Dramatic Boutique and they are in the style Morgan. I love these. And uh, is that it? Is that all else I did? Yeah, I think that's about it. So let's crack on. So for contouring, I'm going to use the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Light. Take the slip out there. So this is it. And this is this is the shade I use for contouring. Yeah, I've um, remembered why I don't often do fancy cut creases. They take hours. But... I do have to admit I've had fun doing it and I do really need to do it more more often so I definitely think I need to do do it more because they are fun so after this video has premiered and we've all had our chats and it's all finished. I'm going to be getting ready to watch an online music gig as my very good friend Rob Childs. And he is an amazing country singer. And the Saturday night ones are a lot of you more up tempo. I think they've got foot stomp. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh That is my night set out for me. Right, I'm just going to use a bit of the top one uh, for brightening, just to take it down the bridge of my nose there, my chin there. Just brighten a few areas a little bit. And then for bronzer, I am going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This is another favourite. I do love this. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this uh, look is coming together. I did wonder when uh, I didn't like it and took a load off and started again, whether uh, <laughs> it was going to be okay. I think maybe Karma Chameleon videos are not the ones for these kind of crazy cut creases because uh, it wasn't very calming <laughs> but hopefully it will be more calming for you guys watching that is my hope so for blusher I've got the Odin's Eye Alva Flower Blusher in the shade Sweet Tulip I haven't used this as yet it is a slightly shimmery blush so let's have a see. Ooh. Okay. These are not BAM pigment, they're more buildable, which I don't mind. I think they're more suited for everybody. Because you've got the people that um just like a nice natural blush and then they can just go for it like light hand, get a natural look. But then if you want more like I often do you can build it up so I think it's just more versatile to have a blusher to be more buildable it fits more people this is beautiful so for highlighter I'm not going to be able to show you the inside because it's all broken it's a made by Lisa highlighter in the shade pink sunshine Let's see if I can open it without getting it everywhere oh. 
Oh, okay, we've got a lot there. I don't mind. I like a good glow. I do love this highlight. I think I need to get some of that stuff so I can repress it. Because I do because I do want to uh, be able to keep using this and it is not very easy where it smashed it literally just fell on the floor once and oh but it's one of my favorite highlighters look at that shine I don't know how well you can sit on camera you can you should be able to beautiful and then a little bit on the center of the nose on the end yeah this is definitely one of my favorite highlighters along with the other Makeup by Lisa highlighter that I have in uh, Pearl. So I love them both equally because uh, they both go with different looks. So for Lippy, I thought I'd go in with the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Cupid. So I think this is going to go perfectly. One way to find out. No. So I'm going to try the liquid lipstick from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Autumn Rose. Fingers crossed this is the right colour. Yes. Yeah, I am super happy with how this has come out and I'm really happy that I decided to go with a cut crease in the end because yeah this has made me feel rather special. Uh, the kimchi palette I'm just going to keep on trying um, but I do have to say that those shimmers I am not particularly impressed with. The pink was quite, so the pink one's got a bit of a sheen to it um, and even more so with that that kind of topper shade um, but that purple it just it was more like a satin than a shimmer I mean I don't know maybe it's meant to be more like a satin um, but unfortunately it didn't really work for me how I wanted it to um, but never mind you can't win them all so yes that is me done if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you have been here chatting in the live chat Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sure we've had a great time chatting. For those of you watching at a later date or time, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And if you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of colourful looks and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you again for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.